Hello everybody, let me scan you our lesson. In this tutorial, I'm going to use this web application connect with the database MyActual. And the first thing that you need, you have to download MyActual connector. Go to this website and then you scroll it down, download this. But I, I don't have to download because I have in my local drive. I just copied it and go to our project. Go to lib directory and paste it after that you have to right click on it and use this as our resource as to build path okay now you can connect it i have database ready and the name is db demo and I create the table books i'm create a new package for store the connection create a new class finish and port so let's check our port this one copy and paste slash the database name db demo right create a new method I will return its after connection we use the not not this one we use this one java.actual we need to load driver plus so now let test it work or not Let's create a new main method okay right click on it and run as application just for testing okay it's okay so we can use this connection successfully before i'm go on to our coding I would like to talking about the MVC pattern architecture. As you see here, just focus only this thing. Whenever you request the URL, you have to access to the controller first. So the controller will decide whether it will send the data to the view or need to retrieve the data from the model. Because the model is the kind of operator that retrieve data from the database. For example, if user requests to log in with Facebook, so when they request the URL login, it will send it to the controller. Controller will check it. The user just requests for only page login. It will send the data to the view. The view will respond page. Respond the login page to the client. Client will put the password or email address. Then he or she click the login it will request to the controller again then the control will get the data from the user and go to the model and compare the data from the database it is uh, correct or not if not it will send the data back to the view and the view will respond some alert message or error something to the client and this pattern is very popular for the developer let's go to our project and i will explain about our structure this thing is the controller controller i have many class for example but this one is just one class one class is the one url dl and dto represent as the model so the model will work with the database every time the url or user request it will go through the web.xml so every url like a taste it will go to the controller and operate something in here now let's start it, our project i just delete this thing it's just for test in the previous section just drop it and web xml i just drop this one too i no need and this one I just drop it drop it so our project is clear now i will list the data from the database here from the table tb box so we have to this one create a java bean finish and um, implement it from serial library i will use getter and setter and generate the setter getter
and I will generate the override string to string print out the object okay we got it and close the class now create a new one on the packet DL finish in this class I'm going to retrieve the data from the database create a connection point to null okay create a default constructor so when I create a new object it will connect directly call our class connection class okay so in this method I will return as array list is get, get error because I need to return so I will use the result set after we execute and query from the database sorry result set and create a new object because when we get one row we have to grab one object too in this we can use as the index index of our column or the name of our column so book id After that, we have to add in array list. Add book. So now let's test it work or not. I'm a new main method. I use array list, the same array list, to store and we'll print it out. New book. DAO dot get books exception and I will print out books okay save run it as Java application we have get the data from a database this one just taste drop it now I just get the uh, the data so now let's go to our controller this package create a new serverlet get books and click on finish and actually we get the data we by the standard we just do get request.set attribute this one is the key all books and this one is a value that I get it from this one array return as array list so just put here and I will dispatcher is to index.jsp request.get request dispatcher index.jsp we mapping the URL by go to web content and web dot xml create a url mapping i'm already mapping with the con our controller this welcome list file you can drop it but um drop so just save it and restart our tomcat server and i have organized the data in a index.jsp in a table and this one i use the jsdl and el have a port the library in the previous section where well, I use this tag lib this tag lib and the library also JSTL so now let's run it okay but the title is problem let me check together let me check it so the problem I think is because of DAO okay I just set it the title the result from the query whenever that you uh, modify in the backend you have to restart the server 
Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Okay, thank you for watching this video.